these are my thumbs, and these thumbs are gonna take me from France to Vietnam. And this is the story. This is where I've spent the last couple of days. That's my tent, that's the beach. I think I may have made a mistake and given off the impression that hitchhiking is all fun, but it's not always fun. Right now it's 90 degrees outside and I have to walk three and a half miles to get to the roundabout before the highway that I can wait for hitchhiking. Today I got the best answer about why somebody stopped with hitchhiking. I stopped because of the Croatian shirt. <laughs> because it made you feel comfortable. Yes. Because it made her feel comfortable. Alright, thank you. So I'm headed now to a town called Pula, which is not too far away. There's supposed to be a light show there happening this weekend, so I'm gonna grab some food and go check it out. This is, this is awesome. The coincidence is crazy because we met again. I'm sorry. Um, Dead. Danny. Danny. Yeah, yeah. I met Danny again, like right over there, and he dro dropped me off like two days ago, 20 feet, 20 meters from here, and it's just such a crazy, crazy coincidence, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. so, it's so crazy. <laughs> it's like we planned it. It's like we planned it. Yeah. Croatia, all this food is half off after seven o'clock. Chiavati, spinach, cheese, pig. So you gotta ask before because not all the supermarkets it's half off but a lot of them are so all this food is uh like 10 kuna so it's like one dollar fifty cents so here behind me is the entrance to the city center and then from there there's gonna be the light show inside <laughs> So right now I'm on the way to the place I'm gonna sleep tonight. It's like four kilometers away. This is the road in front of me. It's gonna take me some time to get there, but I've asked several people and they said it's a safe place to sleep, so it should all be good. And yeah, obviously I don't wanna walk four kilometers right now, but it's all right, you know? Just gotta be strong in the head. Hey guys, good morning. I'm pretty excited because last night I spoke to my friend Denny who picked me up twice already hitchhiking. He invited me to his place for dinner tonight, so I'm gonna pack up my tent and head over there. I was kind of uncertain about it, but then he mentioned to me that he's a professional chef, and I've been eating salami and bread for the last week, so how can I say no to that? I'm okay. sorry, can you remember your name? Uh, my name? Yeah. Uh, Anna. Anna. Yes. And, uh... Ivan. Ivan. So I'm with Anna and Ivan and we just got to Rijeka and Anna is four months pregnant? Uh, yes, three four, and a half. <laughs> three and a half, four months pregnant and she was telling me something really interesting about um, Croatian pregnancy laws. Yes, in Croatia uh, when you get uh, birth, I don't know if uh, correct. It's okay. Uh, you, gave, uh, you can be home with the baby one year and get paid for that. Uh, and if you have third baby, you can be home uh, three years uh, paid, uh, and then you can go after that on work like is nothing happening. And the government gives you money. And government yes gives you money. Like fifty thousand kuna. No, no, no. Uh, some city uh, uh, like Zagreb gives you uh, benefits. Uh, I don't know for a, I don't know for a third child or. I'm not sure, but our city <laughs> is smaller, so our city gives you like 
3,000 kuna or 5,000 kuna when you get birth. Okay. Uh, like a gift. Like a gift, yes. okay. Because uh, they uh, want I... more people in the population. <laughs> yes, they want uh, people get uh, <laughs> a lot of children. Because uh, Croatian people not... Uh, not uh, having enough babies. Yes, not having enough babies. They... they they are more more like in uh, pets, uh, like dogs and uh, cats, <laughs> <laughs> not babies. So amazing, huh? <laughs> Guys, make babies, not war. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, voilà. Have a nice trip. Voilà, voilà, voilà. <laughs> Thank you, guys. So now we're preparing dinner. Omar, he's preparing dinner and I'm being like supportive system. Yeah, yeah. Wait, what is this gonna be? This is gonna be potatoes uh, with chicken and the uh, Istrian kobasica. And kaba Istrian sausage. Istrian sausage. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's usually made uh, in a real fire, in a real bowl with a uh, with the cover and then you put the the fire on the cover and then it's called cheripnya it's an Istrian dish no okay so i hope you like it okay so we'll check back again soon Roll number five of hitchhiking. If you can ever get out with a professional chef, then it's a good ride. Okay, we're taking it out. Go for it. Yeah. Oh my god. Words can't describe how excited I am to eat this right now. And the smell. Oh my god, it's amazing. So the meal is these french fries. This salad with cabbage and green salad. Yes. <laughs> and this, the che, che, Cheri, cheripnya. Cheripnya. <laughs> we already explained, it's gonna be amazing. And before we started to eat, I wanted to explain exactly how I ended up here. Because you saw the first time we met, the second time we met, and then how I ended up here now. So, so the second time we met, we, we met. Really by coincidence, no? I was at the doctor and I was just coming out of a parking place and then uh, we start talking in messages and I really liked him and uh, I asked him if he's gonna go to Rijeka. I really liked him and uh, I asked him if he's gonna go to Rijeka and he said yes and I asked him if he had some dirty clothes it's been nice for me to be able to just chill, have some good company, eat good food, and recharge my batteries. And uh, it's been really cool because I didn't expect to be here today. And I don't really know how much I believe in fate, but just meeting twice by complete coincidence. Keep in mind with auto stop, if I would have been there one day before, one day after, five minutes before, five minutes after, we would have never met. Yeah. Twice. So because <laughs> you met twice this way, I was like, okay, now we gotta, well, we gotta chill. Yeah. And just look at this awesome food, that doesn't, that also helps. Alright, peace and dobro tech. Dobro dobro tech. Yeah. So this food is incredible, I almost don't want to make this video because it's just so good. And I wanted to continue to eat but I wanted to show you this. There's this thing, can you show up with the bread? Yeah. Because you can see it's full of juice here, yeah? So look. You see it puts the bread in, lets it dip it in the juice. Bam! Mm. 
How does it taste? Oh, it tastes like magical. Hey guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. I just wanted to also clarify some of the recent changes that I've made in the last couple of videos, such as talking more about the difficult parts of hitchhiking, are direct results from comments that people have written to me. So thank you very much. I really appreciate your comments. I read all of them, and they really impact the way that I make my videos. So I wanted that point to be very clear. Please do a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace. Hold it down. Yeah. Hold it. There you go. <sighs> Damo smo vam još ovo htjeli reći, nemojte to čurovi.